Welcome back to Aromatic Realistic TV. From a year device, you know, they don't know enough. So we know sugar coat over here, so we give you contents with clarity and substance. Anyway, tonight's topic is all about we're doing some deep dive down inside the PMP. I know the PMP just fall from grace. The PMP party right now is more of people putting their ego in front of the party and also their political future in front of the party likewise and you just wonder why and wonder if the PMP will ever redeem you know or even become that vibrant Michael Manley people first party you know once more or they will never win back that presidency to serve the Jamaican people. I don't know, but we are yet to find out. Michael Norman Manley was the foundation. The Rock of Jubalda, the man who put people first and put himself behind. The man who loved Jamaican people and loved them with a passion. And rumors out there you know, are saying that from one Michael man they die, the PMP also died. All right, let's get into it. Man man served three terms as prime minister from 1972 to 1980. And we know how much a clock with the 1980 election. History has taught us that it was one of the most bloodiest elections Jamaica has ever seen. And we come to the realization and find out that the Jamaica Labour Party, they will do anything to win. If they have to kill, they will kill. And they have to steal, they will steal just to win an election. That's how that party operates. So from 1972 to 1980, Michael Manley was Prime Minister of Jamaica and leaders of the People's National Party. He lose the 1980 election to Edward George Philip Siaga. The PMP did not contest the 1984-85 election. They sit out that election, so it gave Edward Siaga a uh, two term. He served from 1980 to 1989. The PMP contests the 1989 election and defeat the Jamaica Labour Party, Edward George Philip Siaga, by a landslide. He stepped down from the position in 1992 and handed over to P.J. Patterson. P.J. Patterson served as party leader and prime minister of Jamaica from 1992 to 2006. For 14 years makes him the longest serving prime minister in the history of Jamaica. He stepped down 2006 and handed over the prime minister of Jamaica and leader of the People's National Party to one Prosha Lucretia Simpson. Prosha Lucretia Simpson Miller served as party leader and prime minister of Jamaica from March 2006 to September 2007. She was defeated at the poll by Bruce Golding from the Jamaica Labour Party. So after one year in office, Prosha Simpson was defeated at the poll by one or Bruce Golding. He was now Prime Minister of Jamaica and he lead from 2007 into 2011. But before we reach there, we just want to go back and something that occurred in the People National Party, which is the PMP. So, Prosha Simpson Miller has lost the 2007 election, knowing that the people did not give her her own mandate. It was the former Prime Minister and leaders of the People's National Party, P.J. Percival Pattison, who stepped down and hand over the Prime Minister and the leadership to one Portia Simpson Miller. So she just spent a year in the, the position of Prime Minister and was defeated at the poll 
in the 2007 election by one or Bruce Golden. So at that time, we know what was going on. Everybody know what was going on. PJ three term. The Jamaica Labour Party made their pitch and said, so, oh, 18 here, we can't take no more of this and we can't take no more of that. We can't take 18 here of the PMP and what I mean. So the writing was on the wall and it doesn't matter who the PMP choose at, at that time. The JLP was going to win that election because the people and themselves was just fed up. For what? I don't know. Because if I can remember, the country was doing good, you know. Highway bill, you know, investor coming in, a lot of hotel was building and all that. So the country was you know, for the first time. We have Claro, we have Lime, we have Digicel. We have com competition in the, the telecom market, you know, and the, the rate was good. So, you know, that was a plus for the country. But, you know, for some reason, the people said they want to change and push her get defeated. So at that time, what really happened, you know, when she get defeated by Bruce Golden, all the PMP need to do, you know, was go back to the drawing board and figure out what went wrong and bounce back again. They did not do that. The former prime minister, Portia Simpson Miller, and now leader of opposition and leaders of the People National Party as well. So you hear rumble going on out there. So she was about to challenge by one Peter Phillips. Well, she said that Peter Phillips never really call her and say nothing to her in person. But she hear from other comrades and close associate to Dr. Peter Phillips. So I'm saying, if one is the president of the party and one is the vice president, why wouldn't these two people, who is the, the top of the PMP National Party, come together, sit down and work out something around the table? Dr. Phillips did not do that. So what happened? He challenged Portia. But at the time, nobody did not want Dr. Phillips. The PMP movement was behind Portia Simpson Miller. But what happened, you find say, Dr. Phillips' ego come in the way. And what Dr. Phillips do at that time is push the party behind and push himself up front. And we all remember that primary wasn't a, a nice primary. Words and all these things. You know, they drag her right down into the mud. And, you know, the, the duns and all of them thing. Because it was... Them thing there, you know, the G2K, Generation 2000, and the young entrepreneur who affiliate with the Jamaican Labour Party, the G2K, they are powerful. They are not, you know, uh, uh, some people to play with. Those guys are, you know, political savvy. They are social media savvy too. And that's one of the things that they do and, you know, damage your character in the 2016 election. You know, but before we reach there, we just want to say, so the transition that was made, cause look at it, you know. Michael Manley father, hand it down. Michael Manley father stepped down and hand it down to Michael. Michael Manley hand it to PG and PG hand it to Prosha. So when Prosha leave, you know, Prosha going to hand it down to Dr. Phillips. You know. But the thing about it, there's nobody can make them turn again. Anyway, she go on to win the 20, the 2012 election. She beat Andrew in the 2012 election. Because we know what happened with the Tivoli incursion. And because of that, Bruce Golden couldn't finish his full term. Because remember, they have this investigation that was going on. And they kind of find him, you know, not telling the truth. And he have to resign. So he resigned. He resigned on October, October 23rd, 2011. So Andrew Owens was only here for like three months because remember the 2012 election called in January. Portia Simpson win and becomes Prime Minister of Jamaica again. We started. But what I'm saying, the hemorrhage was in the PMP from then. Because it split. Now you have Portia Simpson PMP and you have Dr. Phillips PMP. All they need to do you know, was just to go back to the drawing board and work out the things when time Bush Golden beat. Portia 2007 and come back again because clearly as you can see a couple more years after that Portia come back and beat Andrew and she is Prime Minister again. 
Anyway, leading up to the 2016 election, what take place, I don't know. But after Ghetto Grapevine, this is what we heard. She did not get the full support of the People's National Party. Again, she did not get the full support of the People's National Party. Because that, 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 that 2008 run after you know, between Rocha Simpson Miller and Dr. Peter Phillips split, split the PMP in a two. So the PMP was bleeding from then. In spite she go back and win the 2012 election, PMP was still bleeding. And what happened now is that they said that they, some people in the party did not give her their full support. And that's what caused the PMP the 2016 election. That's what caused PMP the 2016 ele election. So people have their own political agenda and you know, we're saying that if they didn't give her their support, then she's gonna lose. When she lose, then we step up now to be party leader. You understand? And try to become the next Prime Minister of Jamaica. Anyway, she stepped down and she leave it to Dr. Peter Phillips. So, we just lost an election because Andrew become Prime Minister once more. Again, all the PMP need to do is go back to the drawing board. Go back to the drawing board. Get more strategic. Find out where we go around. And build back the one PMP again. We did not do that. This time, Peter Bunting decided, say, a me time, I'm going to challenge Dr. Peter Phillips. The same thing go on again. He go on and he challenged Dr. Peter Phillips. And it was a rough one again. You know. Words and yo crazy thing are going on you know, between Peter Bunting PMP and Peter Phillips PMP. Mash up the People's National Party again. Split it right down the centre again. You understand? Because all what them need for doing you know, at this time you know, is come together as one united force. Find out what happened. Put our ego behind us. Put the party forward. Right? The foundation that Michael Manley leave to you guys. So we put the people first and we put ourselves behind. We work for the people. The people does not work for us. But because of our ego and personal political gain, we seem to forget the people and put ourselves up front. We know the outcome, what happened. Anjo become victorious again. You understand? At the poll. Because Peter Bunting now can't wait. Say, at my time, the PMP was already the hemorrhage, in a hemorrhaging, in a bleeding state, you know, from the 2008 primary between Prosha Simpson Miller and Dr. Phillips. The PMP never healed from that. So when the PMP get defeated at the poll in 2016, all the man that we need to do is go back to the drawing board, brother. Go back to the drawing board, brother, and go do the thing over again and come back with one PMP. The man them didn't do that. The man them put self first and ego and Andrew beat them again. That's what I mean. So what may I try to say? You see, in life, what goes around comes around. What goes up comes down. Spitting at the sky, falling in your eye. And watch it. The transition of the People's National Party is always a smooth one. Remember, Michael Manley, father, and it down to Michael. Michael stepped down and gave it to P.J. Patterson. P.J. Patterson stepped down and gave it to, to Prosha Lucretia Simpson Miller. So when Porsche time expire, you know, the next man that was in line, you know, it would be Dr. Peter Phillips. You know. And when Dr. Phillips do his turn, the next person was in line, you know, it would be Peter Bunting. You know. And when Peter Bunting do his turn, you know, the next person that would be in line, it would, it would, it would be Lisa Anna. But nobody want to wait. Everybody, because of them personal gain or them personal benefit, because everybody now choose politics. For me, 
my family and my cronies them around me. Nobody into politics now. For the little people that Michael Manley care upon his shoulder. Decades. And tell the PMP, say, you put the people first. Anytime you find yourself in front of the people, you have no business serving the people. But because of ego, you guys put yourself in front of the party and in front of the people. You understand? And at the end of the day, we all know what happened. De defeat again for PMP. So I'm just saying, if Peter Bunting, right, Michael Anidow, you know, see, Michael Anidow to PJ, PJ to Prussia, Prussia to Peter Phillips. If Peter Phillips went just humbling and waiting, you know, that's why they say, they that wait upon the Lord, you know, shall renew their strength. And I say, they shall mount up with things like eagle. Don't? They shall run and not be weary. Don't? Just wait for your turn, Peter Phillips. You did not. So when Portia stepped down in 2016, after she lost the 2016 to Andrew Holness, and stepped down and leave it to Dr. Phillips, this is why Peter Bunting come back wrong and challenge Peter Phillips. Because you see, Peter Phillips do that to Portia Simpson Miller 2008. Now take this into consideration. If Peter Bunting know that the protocol of the People's National Party is to make smooth transition. So if Michael to PGA, PGA to Portia, Portia to Peter Phillips, Peter Bunting would never throw that line. Because he knows that if he try that, the People's National Party would have kicked him out. But because he see Peter Phillips challenged Portia, leader of op op opposition at the time and party president, he see Peter Phillips challenge the party president boldly. No, this time around, Peter Bunting has said, hey, so if me see you do it already, what make me can't do it now? And just challenge Peter Phillips. That's what I mean. Just look on the thing and say, Dr. Phillips, what goes around comes around. If you're spitting at the sky, we fall in your eye. Trust and believe. But the PMP, they're in a terrible place now. The people who are there right now, it's just for their own political interests. I don't see them really fighting for the little small man of Jamaica anymore. And for that reason, I don't know when the PMP is going to win our next election. I don't know. Because the PMP that we see now is kind of weak and puny and feeble. But until then, it's for us to find out. That's what I mean. And see if they will go back to the drawing board, redeem themselves, and build back the Michael Manley PMP. The PMP for the people and not just political gain. Don't caught up in our ego and put in yourself before. Because you are there to serve the people and not the people to serve you guys. Peace and love. From a year device, you know say aromatic realistic TV. We give you content with clarity and substance. Much love. I'm out.